Our primary mission for the company is to build the best uh, systems of automated translation software in the world. And uh, we're using a new approach that's different from uh, historical rules-based approaches. We're using a statistical approach which lets computers uh, associate words and phrases between two languages and then also learn how words like to hang around with each other in the target language or the language that you're translating into. And uh, the benefit is that you get more natural sounding translations from our type of software and uh, the, uh, the accuracy of the translations tends to be better than with uh, historical rule-based approaches. I know a lot of people are familiar, familiar with companies uh, like Sistran and they've used right. Babelfish online and, and that's traditional machine translation. Correct? That's the rule-based approach and the notion behind rule-based approach was it's a very sensible idea. Uh, the idea was to try to teach software grammatical rules and dictionary definitions and uh, the problem with that is that when you think about all of the different definitions that a particular word can have or how many different parts of speech it can occupy, you know, you very quickly realize how hard of a job it is for a human being to figure out the rules to uh, actually have a prescriptive model that will do translations correctly and be able to recognize the difference between somebody's name like Bill Gates versus uh, an invoice and a gate that uh, swings on a fence. So it's very hard for rule-based approaches to uh, come up with all of the different permutations and combinations of rules that can get it right. Mm -hmm. and, and right now, um, I understand that uh, your product's being used with federal, the, the government, many government agencies for uh, intelligence purposes. Um, what, what, how is it being, being used in corporations currently? So the, uh, we think in terms of the application sets for uh, automated language translation software in sort of two broad categories. One is uh, assimilation. So you're wanting to know what's something that's in uh, a foreign language, what it's about. The other is dissemination. So you're trying to provide information that you want to have communicated to someone in a different language. The government applications have tended to be more on the assimilation side. You're looking for something that's actionable, some crucial piece of information that's going to you know, help us with national security. On the corporate side, the emphasis has always been more on the dissemination side. You're trying to move information from one language into another for some commercial purpose, whether it be uh, manuals for uh, automobile manufacturers or Harry Potter novels. And uh, so there the quality requirement to be able to actually produce those translations is at a higher standard. And the early applications now that we're starting to see for our software in, in the dissemination side is really to work with companies and translation services providers who are really trying, aiming at publication quality and are starting to use our software for a first draft. How many language pairs do you support currently and where do you think you'll be a year from now? Oh boy, that's a detailed question. <laughs> that, uh, you know, a year ago I probably could have told you, but I mean, we've, we've significantly ramped up our language pairs. Uh, uh, our uh, PR agency can probably help you with the answer to okay. that question. 27 currently. <laughs> 27 currently. Wow. And we will be adding, well, we are adding a couple more yeah. as soon as we announce the next uh, upgrade. Yeah. I mean, so in our early period, we really focused on translation quality on a few language pairs first uh, to get it to a commercial threshold. And once we got there, this year has been a rapid expansion. That's why when you ask me how many language pairs, it seems like the question a CEO should know. But I mean, we've been adding them at, at a very, very rapid clip. And that's one of the beauties of this technology is that it's relatively agnostic, uh, whether it's, you know, what two languages it's working between. And it's a relatively quick process if there's data to create a language pair. Uh, and so we've added a lot to kind of fill in the commercial suite this year. Now, as we look forward, um, you know, we're going to we're going to respond to the market. Uh, but you know, as long as we have data and we have extensive efforts underway to capture data uh, that's uh, bilingual between uh, 
lots of different languages. And uh, you know, we'll continue to expand the base of language pairs as customers uh, ask for them. Okay.